Hello, everybody, and thank you for joining me. This is Sierra from CRT Designs, and today I have this really pretty pink, white, and gold butterfly bookmark. So let's jump right in. So to start, I am going to use my Gemini hot foil machine, and I'm using this to hot foil those butterflies you see on the side there. Those are the pink, fresh, uh, small butterflies, I believe. And I also have the, you saw a variety pack of the foils there. And I'm going to use the polished brass, which is the only gold-ish color I currently have in my foils. So that's the one I'm going to use. Now, bear with me. Uh, yeah, I tested positive for COVID this week, so I'm a bit... Uh, no, I'm not feeling well and I'm, uh, my voice is a little off and I just, I'm just a little off. So bear with me in this video, guys. I'm just, I'm just trying to do my best here. So I do have the, uh, foil cutter. It's like the quick trimmer and I'm just trimming down my foil to fit the butterfly so that I don't get too much over foiling. Uh, this is probably one of the easiest ways to not have oil over foiling when you are using your glimmer hot foil machine. And I am going to use a piece of 120 pound Simon says stamp white cardstock. That's what I'm going to foil on. I have found the higher weight cardstocks foil a bit better for me, um, but of course you have to play around with your machine and your foil and your foil plates to see kind of what's going to work best for you. This is what I have found works really well for me. And I do kind of create, I was going to create a hinge, but in the end I decided just to tape it straight down. I just find that's easier than I don't have to worry about the plate or the foil moving as I heat it up. So I set it on top of my Glimmer Hot Foil machine. You can see there that it's flashing green because it's ready. And I put it down, plate down. You always have to make sure that the shiny side is towards the plate. Uh, and then I put on my two plates and I let it sit until it's ready to go. And then I put it through my Big Shot. I always use my Big Shot for hot foiling. Uh, I never ever use my Gemini. There is a Gemini hot foil machine. I don't own it, as you can see. Um, so I'm not totally sure how it would work but I just use my big shot for my hot foiling and you see I go one direction slowly and then back to the other way so I'm going to bring in the the magnet guy that kind of picks up your hot foil plates when they're hot because of course at this point the it is quite hot so I just used it to kind of maneuver the foil plate around so that I wouldn't touch it with my hands and then I just take off the uh, mint tape that I'm going to use later to die cut and remove the foil and there we go it foiled pretty much beautifully I love how that came out so I did have a little bit of overfoiling. So I just brought in, this is one of those racers that kind of removes tack. Um, you could use a plain eraser, you could use a sand eraser, pretty much anything will just remove it because it's in the groove. So it's not gonna remove the foil you've actually put down, but it will help remove the foil that's overfoiled on top of your image, in this case, my butterflies. And I am gonna only use five of them. This does automatically foil nine. Uh, you could of course do a second, butter, uh, second bookmark, uh, but I was not feeling up to doing too much. So so I just did the one with the uh, five. I used five of the butterflies, as you would have seen in the image there. So I just removed all the extra foil on the butterflies, and then I brought in the matching die set. Now there is a stencil to color these in. There's also a stamp set. Um, there's a few things that go with this product. I only own the die and the hot foil plate, but you could, of course, use all of them to color them. I'm not going to color them. I am going to leave my butterflies this kind of, I know it's polished brass, but I'm using it as gold. I'm going to leave them with this gold foil on them um, and then I'm going to add a little bit of depth as we get into the, the bookmark. So I am just lining that up. I'm using the exact same mint tape I used for the hot foiling itself and then I'm going to run it through my Gemini with my junior plates and then that's going to cut them out perfectly. So here can I see I just popped them out. Now I'm not great at lining these up. Honestly the antennae sometimes get a little crooked and whatnot. I don't think it matters. I don't mind. Nobody's ever said anything so I just kind of leave it. And then I have the bookmark die from Altenew that I'm going to die cut out of a piece of hammer mill cardstock because I want to ink blend on it. So I wanted a very smooth cardstock. And as always, all of my the stuff that I use will be linked and listed down below in the description if you're ever curious about what I'm using. And also, please feel free to leave me questions if you ever have any. Um, I always respond to comments. So if you ever have a question, please don't hesitate to ask. So for my ink blending, I am going to use three colors of pink because <laughs> I love pink, white, and gold. That's one of my favorite color combos. And when I'm not feeling well and I'm struggling to come up with new ideas, this is kind of something that I end up bouncing back to. So I'm going to use spun sugar, kitsch flamingo, and picked raspberry. And I'm going to blend between the three, just going up in kind of an ombre along the bookmark. <clears throat> 
Now you could of course use any color combo you like. Anything pretty much goes with gold or silver, whichever you prefer. This is just one of the color combos that I love. Uh, and I think it's kind of fitting. Uh, I don't make a lot of Valentine's Day themed things. Um, my husband and I don't really celebrate Valentine's Day. We pretty much just try to show each other that we love each other all the time. So Valentine's Day isn't really a big thing for me. So I don't really make much for it. But I thought that this color combo would really work while going towards Valentine's Day. So I did choose those colors and then I do blend between them until I am happy with how my blend comes out and then I did splash on some perfect pearls because I do want some interest in the background so I just splashed it on using my mini mister bottle I have it mixed up in there and I just use the stem to kind of splash it all over the background and then this is where I decided I wanted to add a little dimension to my butterflies because I'm not going to color them. I am going to leave them white, but they look flat. Uh, so I brought in an N1 Copic marker, which is a neutral gray, quite a light one. And I'm just adding some shadowing to the bottom of each section of the wing. And I will hold it up here in a second so you can see it a little better. This is honestly just to create a little bit of textural dimension and difference on the flat butterfly uh, because it is quite flat which I mean is good because it's a bookmark but uh, with that I you guys know I love to add texture and dimension so I'm going to hold up the one that I added some shadowing to and hold up a plain one and hopefully you can see this slight difference on the left hand side one the shadowing that I've just created lightly and then I am going to bring in my pearlescent. This is the Fine Tech Pearlescent Watercolor Set. And you can see that gold one is probably my favorite in there. And I'm just mixing it up with a little bit of water from my Distress Palette. And I'm going to outline the bookmark. The only gold currently in this design is on the butterflies. So I really wanted to bring in a bit more. So I decided to edge my bookmark with it. Uh, now, of course, you could use a Delicata ink to do this. There are other ways to do this. You could use gold paint if you have some. Um, this is just what I have. And it's just such a pretty sheen that I quite enjoy this paint. And I own it, so I, you should use it, right? I'm kind of a believer of using what you have. So... I used a size zero brush and I'm just mixing it up there and then lightly kind of smearing it across the edge there. Uh, and I am gonna do the little hole as well. And you can see there's kind of that little cut out underneath the hole where your string would go. That's actually to sit on the page. I just thought that that was so cool. I love this bookmark die. I just think it's really neat and I cannot wait to make some more. And because I already have the ink all mixed up, I did decide to splash a little bit onto the background. And because, you know, I'm always a more is more style of crafter, I did have to bring in my uh, studio, no, <laughs> Spectrum Noir glitter pen and I'm just coating all of the butterflies with it. And I just kind of went around the gold outlines. Now it doesn't really matter. You can't smear anything on this. The uh, alcohol ink pen, that the uh, Copic is alcohol, so it won't move on you. But I still went around kind of all of the areas. And then here I brought in my Barely Art glue and I'm just going to adhere down all of my butterflies. Excuse my head there, sorry. Uh, and I'm just going to adhere them down in the center because I am going to prop up the wings a little bit. Now, I don't imagine this actually being used as a bookmark, although you could. I mean, I didn't add too much dimension to it, um, but I more kind of think of it as an art piece that's in a bookmark size than necessarily a bookmark. But you absolutely could. And you can see that I just kind of adhered the five butterflies going across the um, bookmark there. And then I pushed down the center with the middle of my reverse tweezers. And I'm going to prop up the two sides just to give the butterfly wings a little bit more movement. Now, again, you could easily flatten them out if you actually wanted to put this in a book. But um, I, I read a lot of books, but I read uh, them digitally. So I, I don't use a lot of physical books anymore. But I thought that that turned out really pretty. And then because I couldn't resist a little bit of extra shimmer and shine, I did also bring in some, what are these, vanilla luster fusions from uh, Studio Katia. They're a sequence, sorry. <clears throat> I brought these in as well, and I just kind of adhered them randomly across my uh, bookmark, and I just thought that they turned out really pretty. Uh, they don't bring in a lot of extra shine like you can't like they're not blatant but I think they turn out really pretty and I love the addition of that little extra sparkle and then I did bring in some light pink ribbon I don't have much ribbon in my stash I don't use it very often but I thought that it would be really pretty to tie a little bow on the top of this so I brought in this piece of kind of a uh, light pink ribbon and I just stuck that through the hole and then I brought in some white and silver baker's twine now if I owned 
white and gold baker's twine i would have used that instead however as i said i don't own much in the way of ribbon so i'm just working with what i actually have so i did tie it around there and i'm gonna cut out some of this footage because honestly you can't see past my head here in a second so you're just gonna see that i've tied a bow around it so i pulled it tight kind of created a knot and i used my tweezers to kind of hold it there so that it wouldn't shift around on me while i'm tying my bow and then I'm going to just make a bow. And here you can see I had to cut that out because my head was just in the way. You couldn't see anything. And then I just kind of fixed my bow until it was where I liked it. And then I'm going to trim off the excess of the ribbon. I just think this is a nice added touch. I mean, if you had like a little charm or something, you could hang that off there too. And I think that would look stunning. Uh, I didn't really think about it until I was pretty much done. So, but I think that that would have looked really pretty too. If you had like a little, little key or a little butterfly charm, I think that would look stunning right here. And there we go, guys. That is what I have for you this week. I hope you enjoy it. I hope you leave me a like, leave me a comment. Tell me what you think of my really pretty kind of simple bookmark. I'd love to know. And if you consider subscribing, that would be amazing. I do new videos every Monday and Thursday, and I have new content coming very soon. I do have both the December and the January Simon Says Stamp kits sitting here, but I just haven't had the energy to work with them yet. So hopefully I will have those up very soon. Thank you so much, guys, and I cannot wait to see you again very soon. Bye-bye for now.